showtime. But like, I just want to go through this kind of with no sound, just to talk about and show, or like minimal sound. How's it going? So this first video here, I know it didn't really explain. Everything is like a second of the video, right? But this video, um, uh, this was the first video where I actually used this intro saying, how's it going, everyone's Tricks from Meta Smash. And look at this, bro, this is the OG. This is the intro that we used to use. This is literally just a picture that has some uh, animation from um, Movie Maker. Why don't we make uh, iMovie from uh, for a Mac iMovie? So I have some picture to the particles, just a Smash Ball with some Rocket Rinder, bruh. I used to rock. We rocked this intro for so long, bruh. <laughs> yeah, it's not a bad first intro. Still, how's it going, everyone? This is Tricks from Meta Smash. How's it going, everyone? This is. But yeah, that first video that was what first time I ever said, "How's it going, everyone?" This is Tricks from Meta Smash. That was like, I don't know, two or three weeks in, and then ever since then, I've done like every single video ever that has like a, a formal intro. Uh, after this one, actually, this this video here is like the intro to like my first Falco guide that has like sixty, I think it has like seventy five thousand views now. This video is trash. <laughs> I can't even lie, bro. It was so bad. But at the time, that's all there was. So it kind of is what it is. This is tricks from Meta. And then and to this video here, this video is how to fight Pichu. This is one of our first ever how to fight uh, videos. And we made the series, the How to Fight series. That's kind of what the Meta Smash channel was all about as far as doing counterplay. Because most players or most most uh, content creators at the time would always say how to play a certain character or how to be good with a certain character. And then we also kind of did the anti-character thing, which is how to beat someone who's good at this character. Here's what they're going to probably try and do. Here's what they think about. Here's their setups, all that kind of stuff. So this was like one of the first videos uh, highlighting that. Day. And then, also, this is a video, see, you can see uh, X2 Juice's name hey, at the bottom oh, before. Actually, he's, he's here, too. These are the videos, like these two videos, how to fight Pichu and how to fight Cloud. Today, we're going to um, be talking about, we're going to be talking about, this is when I met Juice. So X2 Juice is another player uh, in MOS. This video took us around 25 hours to make how to fight Cloud. And when we put it out, yo... This video had like 300 views because we were so small. But for about 25 hours of work, 300 views. I was like, you know what? I didn't even care at the time. I kind of was just like, it's just, it's just chill, you know. Um, we're just growing. So yeah, this is like a this is an important video for me because this is when I met Juice, which is pretty crazy. About and then we talk right here. This was our first actual how to fight. This is how to fight Ike, and I made the hardest read ever, ever with this video because. Right before I put this video out, that exact weekend was the first time we saw MK Leo play in Smash Ultimate, and he chose Ike. I can't remember the tournament, but whatever it was, he won the entire thing as Ike. And the week, like, in the same week, I put out this video saying this character is a sleeping giant and nobody knows about it yet. And then MK Leo picks his character and goddamn wins, bro. It's like, Jesus. Hardest read of all time. That's probably my hardest read ever as far as calling out this character is going to be ridiculous. Talking about how to f then this is when I met Coltman. He helped me with this. This is like another 20 hour guide we, we did together. Uh, how to fight Snake. This one was ridiculously extensive. Took days, days to, to record, days to stage, days to even uh, voiceover. Everything it was insane. Fight Snake. How to Gimp. Bro, this right here, uh, let me just play this for a quick second. Or Edge Guard every single character in Smash Ultimate. So this was a three video series on how to edge guard every single character in the game as Falco. This shit took forever, bro. Like this was probably like closer to 70, maybe 80 hours in total as far as like all three videos put together. And it was literally juice standing at the ledge of the stage and just let me edge guard you over and over and over and over and over again until I get solid uh, footage of actually getting the edge guard. And then we'll say, okay, if they go high, you can do this. If they go low, you can do this. If they recover in the middle, you can do this. If they have some sort of special way of recovering, like a side B or like a tether or something like that, these are the things you have to look out for. And here's how it should look if you're able to get this edge card. That shit took forever. So I figured that this one, just like a snapshot of that, should get some notoriety in the video as well. With Falco. Fair one. This is when Joker came out. This is the first guide I did when Joker dropped. This was fair one uh, setups. Also in this area, this is when I met uh, Mage as Joker well. Setups. How to develop your speed. The tempo training video. Bro, this video right here, this is probably 
Besides Nail the Trick, this video is one of my main claims to fame. Everybody likes this video. Everyone's like, yo, this, this video has helped me so much as well. So it's the idea of how to use your your uh, controller almost as like a, an instrument, almost like drums or like a, a some sort of, uh, I don't know, rhythm instrument, right? This one is outrageously good. Like people have just been popping off for this video forever. Even Smash Ultimate using tempo training. Falcos. So this is when I met... I met Active, so N5 Active. For anyone that doesn't know, Active is a player who plays Falco from Oregon, and he's the reason why this is called the Active Hop, because before him, I had never seen anybody do this shit, and when they did it, or when he did it to me, I'm like, no one does combos like this. He was like light years ahead of his time as far as this kind of combo, and now you have everybody doing this. Tilde does this. Juice does this. Larry Lur does this. I do this. Everyone who plays Falco, go into Elite Smash. If you're even remotely good at, in Elite Smash at all, if you fight a Falco player, they know how to do this. And it's because of that one player that I fought one time. And it's actually insane. That, that just like shaped Falco's meta insanely. So I, I had to give him the shout out and say, this is called the Active Hop. I don't care if you don't like the name. This is what it is. It's literally because of this one player that everyone on Earth that plays Falco, even in the Japanese scene as well, which is insane, that we had our reach go that far. Everybody does this combo because of him. And then partially because of me making the video and having it go viral, which is crazy. Active hop combo setup. And in this video, we're going to be introducing a new series called Nail the Trick. Nail the yeah. Trick, when that came out too, that was legit. Just like random. I just decided I'm going to just try this out. And for those of you that don't know, Nail the Trick is a rapid fire seat. No, imagine. No. So <laughs> Nail the Trick is actually inspired teaching tutorials from music and from skateboarding where it's like the whole idea of nail the trick was basically the same thing like if you skateboard or if you have a skateboard here's a trick that you can learn to just enjoy skateboarding this doesn't mean that you know how to skateboard but it means that you can do something that might keep you interested in maybe pressing forward and learning so it's like okay here's a video a quick video on how to do an ollie or how to do a kickflip or how to do a i don't know a 360 shove it or something just something fairly basic to be like yo I, like, I feel sick now like, this is cool so I'm just gonna do this and then I'm gonna explore a little bit more and then maybe main a certain character because of this or pick up an instrument like for guitar there was there was a series on YouTube called I bet you can't play this and he had like top world-class guitar players be like okay I bet you can't play this do something that's super crazy it was like four seconds long they break it down and they say here you go and if you could learn it then it's like okay I don't know how to play guitar for real and I could never really use this in the context of music but this is sick, so I'm just going to learn this and just be sick. So <laughs> that's kind of the idea behind Nail the Trick. Then this blew up, uh, I wouldn't say super quickly, but fairly quickly with regards to our channel. And then after the next slide, or this slide right here, is when I say that we hit 10k subs. And just recently hit 10,000 subscribers, a huge milestone. We're going to be taking an in-depth look at Meta Knight. So with Meta Knight here as well, so we hit the 10k subs and that was lit, but then... I decided we we're going to do like during a lull in Smash's DLC or whatever you want to call it, and there was nothing really happening. Um, I decided to do guides on Meta Knight and on Shulk, if you remember that. We had Shulk Sember. <laughs> I never really called it that on this on the uh channel, but that's what it was. For all throughout uh December, or for most of December, I tried my best to put out guides on Shulk because there weren't any. I looked around also for Meta Knight at one point, uh, a long time ago now. There was one guide on Meta Knight. It was by Komoro Kiri. It was entirely in Japanese, and it was about 21 minutes long, and it was just a general guide. Beside that, there was nothing else. So I figured, okay, I'm definitely not a god with Meta Knight, but let's see how I can help, and let's see if I can put up some stuff. So I did I did the ladder combos. I did drag down setups, how to edge guard, just like simple stuff. I think, I think they have five or six guides on Meta Knight, and at the time, I didn't even play the character. I just figured that I should do this because nobody else has. Ladder combos. What's up everyone, it's Frenzy Light. So this right here, this is not when I met Frenzy Light, but this is my first collab with Frenzy Light. And bro, this video did so outrageously well. He basically fused with my idea of Nail the Trick. This is our first collab together, like I said. And I'm actually gonna go after, we'll, we'll take a look at it, but I actually found Frenzy Light really, really, really early on in his development. He put out a footstool video like just the applications of footstool and smash footstools in smash ultimate a very general type of guide it wasn't specific to any particular character or anything like that but i might even pull up the comment later but it's like bro 
this editing is ridiculous. His editing, even at the time, was outrageous. I think when I found him, he had around 1,300 subs. I'm like, yo, what is going on? What is going on? How does this guy not have more subs than this? Like, his editing at the time, even right now, in my opinion, I'd say our editing is about about even now but at the time he was destroying me bro his shit was outrageous it still is outrageous but it's like what is going on with his his editing and his 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 scripts and just everything he did was so ridiculously clean so i'm like yo this this guy's gonna go somewhere number one but we have to become friends and we have to collab i'm not gonna let you not collab even though at the time when he had around 1400 or 1300 subs um i think i did have around 10k maybe 10 or 12k so realistically from the standpoint of hierarchy like why would you ever do collab with someone that's so small it's like that 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 kills a lot of content creators in my opinion when you do shit like that you gotta see talent and recognize it and be like the number doesn't even matter it literally doesn't even matter and, and that's the thing he's he's the goat bro when it comes to sheet content in general and so many guides he's also part of armada shout out to armada bro like i met him before he was an armada miles before it just kind of happened and now look what happened <laughs> you know it's it's crazy i hear for this nail a trick we will be looking at chic terry has the ability to can this is when terry came out right right around here we went from like 14k subs up to like 22 or something we got a huge explosion of subs when terry dropped i dropped 19 guides on him all throughout november um I found out some stuff for him too, like this dash canceling thing is kind of interesting. So I figured I'd throw this in here. It's just like a shout out for uh, Terry. Cancel his turnaround skid animation if you input a jab just as the animation begins. How to spike using... And then this was another big one. This is actually pretty interesting too, is that I figured this out um, like a couple days. And I'm not saying this is why this happened by any means, but I figured out how to get this spike to work by re-grabbing the ledge and then getting the spike with um Byleth, I figured that out and then like two days later uh Mr. Danish Butter Cookie put out a montage that had this in it and it's like oh okay sick like it's actually a thing like it's actually something that someone would actually try and do for real like grab the ledge and do that it wasn't just some fake setup I'm not saying he figured it out because of me I'm sure he figured it out on his own or other players figured it out but I think it was kind of cool Spike using Byleth's Sword of the Creator Something unique about the Metal Blade is that there is not a smash and tilt in. And then right here, I have this little thing over here for the controller. Um, there's like a little bit of a lull once again, if you know the smash scene. Obviously, there was uh, shit going sideways more often than not for a lot of 2020. <laughs> and uh, yeah, this is a, I had just general guides or random guides in between saying, oh, I'm just going to do a video on Mega Man's Metal Blade because why not? Because it doesn't exist yet. And then I had this thing, uh, the input reader that Ronan X helped me set up. And that was absolute chaos trying to get this shit set up. So I, I had to throw it in the videos for at least a little bit. I still have it. It's literally right here on my desk. And I might use it again. I just got to set it up again on a new computer. So that's a kind of a bruh moment. But we'll make it work, hopefully. Put to change the distance in which it travels when you throw it. Fire! How's it going, everyone? This is Trick Smash. Smash. This is a life-changing moment for a lot of people. This is when I did real-time Smash. And they'll even hear me say, let me go back a little bit. And we are here with RTS episode number 18. And in so 18 videos in a row, which right now that seems like nothing, bro. I'm on like day 86 in a row. But that was 18 videos. We ultimately did 22 videos of RTS in a row. Real time smash is what RTS stands for. And all it was was going into Elite Smash and doing analysis, but then also joking around and having fun. This was like, like basically the peak of COVID where everyone was just sad and inside and not doing anything and all the allegations with like the the captain zach and the nairo and the zero and the kitaro and redacted 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 whatever other freaking player that there was that you want to talk about all that shit was happening so it's like how can i be that ray of sunshine for a little bit during the day and so i did rts and was it the best series in the world probably not but it was just something. It was a way to keep people occupied and uh, entertained. I put it out every single day for an, almost an entire month. And the only reason why I stopped is because a new DLC character came out, I think, relatively soon. So I started doing other things. Um, and then this was game six was like another mentality type of thing. I'm almost doing game six videos nowadays, too, where we just kind of talk about a certain topic. And then, I don't know, it's more of a sit down chat versus um gameplay right but this is like another series 
as well. In this series, game six, we're gonna be taking a look more so at the mental side of Smash. Falco finally got his first set of buffs. This was obviously huge too. So Falco getting his buffs in 8.0. Um, and then after that, like not directly after, but pretty close after, um, I didn't meet Tilde. I've not, I met him a while before this, but he uh, sent me some clips and I made this montage. And this was the first song that I used or that I, I wrote the song that is in this video. I wrote the song for the Metal of Smash series, I guess, which is like a series of metal music montages. And all the songs are original music and they are all about Smash. The lyrics are about Smash as far as the characters or about the... Uh, the community or like just sayings that we have like for example and this song is called you hate to see it right so that's that's just what this the chorus is i'll, I'll go back so you can just hear it straight through once the buffs new series so yes that one that song that's me singing in the song i played all the all the instruments as well um yeah i've been playing guitar like i, I you can't see it right now because of the green screen thing happening i've been playing guitar for like 16 years almost i guess 17 years now it's 2021 um but yeah that's what that was i made a i think i made nine songs so there's an entire entire metal album dedicated to smash that just exists i guess it's just there um, and I did that kind of for the Discord community, as far as my Discord, to be like, all right, once again, still in lockdown, and nobody's having any of it, but you know what, I'm going to write these songs for you guys to make montages to, and just have something to do, you know, that's basically what the uh, Medal of Smash stuff was, people want me to put it out on like Apple Music or Spotify and stuff like that, eventually I might, I, I still have to finish one song and put the, the solo into it, I guess, but it's basically done, but that was Medal of Smash, so I just wanted to give a shout out to that, shout out to Tilde as well uh with the clips and the music video and all that good stuff and then once again <laughs> another series because all i do is try to entertain and that's kind of what you got to do as a content creator this series right here please call it one stock go so one stock go was a series where i'd have multiple people jump into a voice chat in discord and one at a time i'd have them come into my mod chat or mod v mod vc and i'd just fight them in a one stock game and if they happen to win then i had to do some sort of challenge or punishment where i had to like post something embarrassing on my twitter or i had to like change my character so i continuously lose in the future or i have to give like a, a shout out on social media whatever you wanted just to keep it once again interesting and entertaining and bring the community together as much as i possibly can and if you would notice anything that's from the last video example and everything in the past that i've done in this video they're all different series and they're all ways to engage with my audience and just have them be uh have something to rally behind right have have something to to care about versus just grinding the game itself right like whether it's doing the montage competitions the one stock go doing game six having coffee gang which was part of rts like every single morning 10 a.m people were just drinking coffee and watching smash i guess i don't know but they were loving life as far as uh these videos right after that this is when sephiroth came out put out some videos for him as well this was one of the videos that did really well for him too since the charge can be cancelled this is a giga flare video point where giga flare is released this means that we can actually react cancel and punish our opponents for choosing an option how's it going everyone this is tricks from meta smash and this is day number six of a month-long pirate so this is obviously much more recent at least at the time of seeing this now <laughs> This is when I did 26 guides in a row every single day for Pyra and Mithra. Not 26 days of videos of me playing in Elite Smash and saying, whoa, sick, that worked? Oh my god, none of that shit. Actual edited videos that taught you some real shit. Like, I went ham on this stuff for an entire month straight. And then after this month, we get into this month. Like, this was literally last month. Right? I know we're pretty much at the end of this month now, but um, this month too, I've been doing like tips with tricks or just like having our daily talking on stream type of video every single day. And now this is where we're at. So we have like the this top video. five reasons why you don't include the smash. This video is basically from like six days ago, not even five, six days ago. 
and then it takes us all the way to present day. And here we are. Like this is the this is the journey, all the way up. Showtime! Now we got this super super gangster intro, bro. Shout out to Zepic again for making this intro. Like he has spent, I don't even know how many hours. The answer is too many. Not even too many because it's like over the top, but because it's just so fucking good. It is so good. It's and that's the thing. Every intro that we've had has been a massive level up from the one before and even the last one that i have it's like bro this one is already really fucking good too that one was from fgz and fgz helped me with a lot of the stuff that you see on the videos all the time like the the like button the 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 intro the subscribe button the ask me for coaching button the outro so many other things that he's done as far as animations he's helped with um uh pictures for thumbnails just so much shit so much shit and then even with this, with, with Zepic helping with this new intro, it's like, bro, I don't know how you're going to top the last one, bro. Because <laughs> the last intro was was already ridiculous. Like, oh, yeah, I forgot to tell you. I'm actually a god. It's like, well, all right. <laughs> I guess I'll just get out of the way. And then he came up with this intro. You know, we got to watch it one more time for the one time, you know. It's so fucking good. You know, I might just put out a video that says this video for 10 hours straight on a loop. It's so good. Like... Showtime. It's just everything, bro. Like, here's the thing. It's here's why I like it so much, too, guys. For those of you that don't know, in the in my very first year of Smash, I made a clip art picture of this Falco. He's black and white. If you've been a like an OG of the seat of the uh, channel, then you've seen this Falco. I've used it in thumbnails. I had it as my profile picture on Discord for years, and um. Yeah, he actually animated this exact Falco. He has the silver boots with the black jacket, the all-white everything, and if you can see, it has the meta of Smash logos on the back and on the shoulders, which is actually in the picture that I made as well. So he popped off, bro. The the, the attention to detail is outrageous. Like the the buttons, like bro, everything. It's 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 actually cracked. He's actually cracked. Right, and then of course, this is like yesterday. <laughs> Got the Armada. Uh, I added this little lightning strike in here. I learned that from After Effects. Very, very clean. It's just, it's just nice, yo. It's just nice. That's all I can say. It just is nice. Like, bruh. And like, this is the thing. I didn't even say this is like a catchy, like, tagline. It's like, although it kind of is, it's facts. Like, the fact that we've leveled up our game so much, I'm constantly trying to outdo myself and constantly trying to just do as much as I possibly can for the community and just bring things up as much as I can, whether it's different guides. Like, bro, I don't even know what the next character is. Nobody really knows what the next character is. But when the next character comes out, expect 30 guides. Expect 30 guides. And then the character after that, same thing again. As long as the character has things to talk about, there will be guides. <laughs> this is what it is. And, yeah, yo, like... That's the thing. This video also, spoiler alert, I was I started editing this video today at like 5.30 in the morning after I said I was going to bed and I lied. And I edited this until about 10.30 a.m. This video is only 2 minutes 18 seconds and it took me like 5 hours to make. It's actually just, it's just cracked. It's Thank actually Michael cracked. Sir Captain, thanks bro. I do appreciate it. I appreciate the bits. And that's the thing, man. Like, as far as myself, not even as a Smash player, but as a content creator and human being, I just have an infinite engine. Infinite engine when it comes to doing this, doing all this shit, bro. I just, I don't stop. Speaking of infinite engine, and there's a reason, if you take a look at my, my profile picture on Twitch, but I'm going to pull it up on stream anyways. This was the original Falco picture, right? This is the one that he edited. I made this so long ago, it's actually insane. Why I say I have an infinite engine is because that was going to be the the title of my metal album, which is Infinity Engine, which is the, uh, the all the Smash music that I made, right? And with that, I also had another artist who helped me make this Falco, right? So this is a custom drawn, like digitally drawn Falco that is inspired by Metal of Smash, right? He has like 
the metal sonic claws with like is an all metal arm and stuff like that he has a smash symbol on his back of his hand he's got the meta smash logo on his shirt he's got like half cyborg half i don't know falco beat up and the imagery behind this picture as well is essentially this is me <laughs> as far as it doesn't matter what i have to go through i'm never stopping and it sounds kind of corny to say that but it's 100 percent true like it's just the embodiment of how the last couple of years have been for me as far as yeah it, it's, it's just as far as the, the constant grind right the constant grind of doing like countless amounts of hours staying up until the sun is up every single day and I'm still alive and I'm still doing it and I'm sponsored and I'm just, I'm just out here, you know, I don't know what else to say at this point, but <laughs> this has been my Ted talk basically on meta meta smash from zero to Armada zero to a hundred. And for, I don't know, depending on who you are and how much you've seen of what I've been doing, this might've seemed fast or easy or, what, or something like that. But if you're, if you're someone that's been around in like every single stream, if you're someone that's been uh, in the Discord chats or someone who's been around for the videos and stuff like that, this is this has been thousands of hours. Thousands of hours. Like, I want to show you something else, too. So when I say thousands of hours, I'll tell you right now that my ratio of hours played to hours edited, scripted, voiceover staging labbing is probably about 70 30 as far as 70 percent of the time i'm doing content versus 30 percent of the time i'm actually playing right and i can say that even with that i have 6260 hours in smash and that's all basically all pushed towards content creation and very little of that is just me fucking around at all like at all and on top of that too it's even the amount of like on top of everything i've done as far as the 540 videos that i've uploaded 541 actually as of today six thousand plus hours of playing smash the music that i've done the nail the trick stuff the collabs with all these content creators streaming almost every single day and with that as well also coaching three to four hours every single day and going to the gym almost every single day as well I don't know how I'm alive. I actually don't know how I'm alive. I've done so much shit. It's actually insane, yo. I just don't know, bro. And uh, I can say, though, that I do enjoy it. I obviously do enjoy doing all this stuff. But, like, that's why, like I was saying before, based on all that shit, that's why this picture exists. It's basically, like, what it is. This is Falco who's been through a war. That's why his jacket's all destroyed. He's, he's like, if you know anything about Dragon Ball Z, how there was Android Frieza, where he's half robot, half Frieza, because he basically died and came back to life, yo. Like, that's me. <laughs> half, half, I guess, bird, half person, I guess, and then half robot. So like, how do I not sleep this much? How do I do as much as I've done? And I know I'm kind of gassing myself up right now, but it's just fucking insane. And that's the thing, too. A lot of players, and this is not like, it's kind of a tangent but also kind of not there's a lot of players out there out there that think that i don't have or i wouldn't have what it takes to be a pro player and it's like bro if i took even a fraction of the amount of time that i put into everything else and i tried to be a pro player instead i wouldn't say it's guaranteed because there's always going to be some sort of obstacle that may or may not show up but there's no way i'm not being a pro player if i really wanted to do it you can't look at all this shit and be like yeah you can't do that you can be a pro player it's like bro you're actually drunk. You had your goddamn mind, right? And I don't know. I don't really aspire to be a pro player. And I'm not saying that as a cop out, just be like, oh, I actually can't do it. Trust me, if I wanted to do it, I could. But honestly, that's just not my calling. I'd rather do content creation. I'd, I'd rather coach. I'd rather entertain. I'd rather be funny. You know, I'd rather build a community. I'd rather do the YouTube stuff. Like that's more so my side of things as far as like the stuff that I like to do. If I liked competing in Smash above everything, then Meta Smash wouldn't exist. I'd just be me. I'd just be Trix, the guy that's good at playing the game. Right? I might stream, but that's it. Meta Smash as an entire channel would not exist if I was a pro player. But no, it's it's actually legit. 
real facts, which I say all the time, but it's actual real facts that if I went the route of content or no, of uh, being a top player, I don't think any of you guys would actually be here. I don't think any of you guys would be here. Maybe there'd be other, of course there'd be other people. So I could say that on both ends of the spe spectrum, but enough living in the glory days. The glory days are actually still, we're still in the glory days currently. We're, I'm going to be moving forward, I guess, with the other content for Armada and stuff like that. 